Welcome back to More Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we want to talk a little bit about Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is from the state of Texas, and every time he goes back and plays the Cowboys or, or in the state of Texas, he goes off. This playoff game was, was no different. He had uh, 21 carries, 118 yards, three touchdowns. And on a weekend where there was some eventful playoff football, this game was probably the most shocking one. Out of the six games that were played, this was probably the most shocking result that I can see. Um, Houston and, and Cleveland was pretty close, but for Green Bay to go into Dallas, who hadn't lost at home in a while, and 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 do what they did in the fashion that they did it was was kind of amazing. But let's get into what Aaron Jones did to help his team, to help lead his team. I'm sorry. to help lead his team to a playoff win over the Dallas Cowboys. Let's dive into this film. All right, first off, we're just going to take a look at his runs and go from there because he did an excellent job of running the football. And I do have one, one play where he caught the ball at the backfield. And we all know he can catch the ball at the backfield. Outside zone. And at this point, if your O-line do what they're supposed to do and get a hat on a hat, you just got to be a bat. Just got to be a bat. And you see right here, this guy's going to the ground. Got a hat on a hat right here. Stick that foot in the ground, get skinny. Now turn it up field. It's that simple. Not a lot of not a lot of wasted movement. It's real simple. Zone concept, concepts are real simple. If you got a back to know what he's doing, and Aaron Jones know, knows what he's doing. I will say this. Let me go back to the beginning of this play. What helps out is the Dallas Cowboys don't play with linebackers. This is safety Marquise Bell. Um, this is, uh, I forget number 33's name, but he's a safety also. And these, these two guys are pretty much their linebackers. So if the O-line can get up to these guys, they pretty much got running lanes. Let's go to the next one. Now, normally when you get red zone-ish, goal line is inside the five, you kind of go in a heavy set. The Packers didn't do that. They got one tight end and a and receiver right here. And they're in that regular spread type set, 11 personnel. Now, look, I just talked about no linebackers. This is Marquise Bell right here, who plays safety at FAMU. He didn't play linebacker, play safety at FAMU. This playing the mic right here in a goal line situation. And he, he reads it. But, I mean, look at Aaron Jones. This regular old split zone. They get the down blocks. You get this gap open, but he gets the gap open by this guy trying to slant. He slants there, but who's who's gonna fill that gap? Who fills the B gap? Nobody fills the B gap. Well, number one tries to fill the B gap. And then you get Duntavian Wicks rooting him out of there. Aaron Jones sees it, cuts right off of it, powers in the end zone. Now, what I will say is, if this is a legit linebacker, Maybe it's more of a stance, maybe it's more of a, a collision and he has to do more, but with that being a safety, Aaron Jones is going to run over him every time. I'll take Aaron Jones versus Marquise Bell 11 days out of, out of the week, and it's only seven days out of the week, every day. Twice on Friday, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday. Now, again, we all know he can catch the ball, so they motion him. They act like they're going to motion him in the backfield. And you got, I don't know if you see it, but you got three guys over here. So you got a four, four surface side. You got a four surface side. And they act like they're finna motion them to the backfield, which is what a lot of people do. We're gonna motion them in the backfield and just kind of see what kind of look you're gonna give us. But they they snap it real quick because they got numbers. Well, they think they got numbers. They got one, two, three, four. You got four versus four. But the thing is, if they take care of all these outside guys and make this guy right here fight through the trash, Aaron Jones has a chance to get yardage. And that's what they do. They take look at the blocking. They take care of all the outside guys. Aaron Jones, you can get to the edge and make him fight through the trash. The only person you really got to deal with is this guy coming over the top. And sh that's what happened. Perfect execution. 13-yard game. Because once he gets the ball right, there, he's just a running back. Just a running back in space. It's this is a long toss. That's all this is. 
a long toss play. They executed it perfectly. Great job of uh, blocking downfield by the receivers, too. Let's get back to him running the ball, though. Too tight set. Split zone. Again, look at the look at the vision, man. Look how he bend that thing back. The hole opening up right there again. 76 on 14. I'll take it all day, every day. Get you get this, get wash this guy down. Stick his foot, stick that left foot in the ground. Cut, bend it all the way back. Now, how did he get on the ground? Is that Michael? Michael got cut by the tight end. Okay. Michael got cut by the tight end. Wash down. Wash down. That's the cutback lane right there. He bends that thing back. Untouched. Well, touched a little bit, but not enough. Touchdown. He's just a, a, a great zone runner. Another bend back. <laughs> Look at the, watch the cutback, man. It's crazy. He he not doing he not taking a bunch of little steps. He's not patting his feet when he cut back. He's sticking that foot in the ground and going. Boom. So that's one foot. And he already cutting back. Breaks that tackle by number six. I think that's curse. And it gets up field. No real wasted movements. It's like once he see it, he hits it. But ain't nothing play side because play side, like all this stuff play side, wrapped up. Bam, I'm going the other way. Make a guy miss, got burst. Just having a blast out here. And it's really the same play. This is zone. Zone running. And, when, and because I've chopped it up into a few plays, it looks like the same formation. Split zone again. Split zone again. O-line did a great job of getting a hat on a hat and just let Aaron Jones be a bat. Just be a bat. Look at that. That's it. They're just covering guys up. Look at the lane. That's, in the NFL, that's unheard of to have lanes this wide in the NFL. But again, you're playing against the Cowboys, you're playing four D linemen. The two guys that should be linebackers are safeties, smaller guys. Now, caught in the wash right here. I don't know where the other linebacker-ish safety is. And you're going to get Christian Watson going to come take out one. Now, this is the cornerback. And remember, we always talk about this on this channel and the other channel. Anytime you can get your running back on a cornerback, it's an ideal situation. Now, some cornerbacks can tackle, but most of them don't like to. Most of them don't like to. Again, we're still looking like the same thing. Getting them in the back to the ace again. <laughs> Running toss this time, but it's still coming down like zone. He just tossed it to him instead of handing it off. The old line still blocking zone. Just outside zone this time. See the end man on line scrimmage don't get a hook. So he cuts it back. And look at these two guys. He reads the overflow. Watch. Watch 97 and 33. They're going to try to be real quick and get over top of this and watch him play them. He reads the overrun. Cuts right back off of him. Look at that. Because they overran it. Look at that. Look at that gap. Look at the gap between Cowboy players. I mean, we're looking at it on the screen, but in reality, that's about five yards. I can run through that and get a yard and a half before my hamstring and Achilles pop and knee. Oh, not to spin move, not to spin a Rooney. Circle. Dude had a... Had an amazing day to go along with, with what the uh, young receivers did. But I really just wanted to you know, show y'all a few plays of what Aaron Jones did versus the Cowboys and show you how he did it. Uh, it was mainly just zone, man. They ran zone. They ran it well. They were able to get their hat on the hat. They were able to expose the Cowboys for not wanting to commit to run stopping by playing basically four D linemen and seven DBs, basically. 
and they Aaron Jones punished them. They punished them, and then when they finally did commit and try to put extra guys in the box, they hit them with play action or some kind of stuff over the top and send the Cowboys packing, man. But I just wanted to show you a few plays of how Aaron Jones did what he did when he do what he do. And this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films. And I'll see y'all soon, man. I got some more stuff coming up, so make sure you got your notifications on. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And the playoffs are here. We had a great, great, great weekend of football with another great weekend in store. See y'all soon, man. Peace and love.